A zero is one of the most important concepts to understand in algebra. It is the value of the independent variable, which is usually x, that makes the dependent variable typically represented by f of x, or sometimes by y, equal to zero. It's x such that f of x equals zero. All this is phrased in somewhat technical language, but essentially zeros are the values that make the function equal to zero. Let's look at some examples. The function with the rule f of x equals 2x minus 8 has a zero at x equals 4. Because if I set f of x equal to zero and solve for x, I can quickly see that x must equal 4 in order for this to be true. If I plug in 4 for x, 2 times 4 is 8, minus 8 is 0. Or if I had a quadratic function like this, I could find the zeros by factoring. Set f of x equal to 0 again, factor the trinomial as x minus 6 times x plus 1, and I can see that my zeros are x equals 6, or negative 1 by the zero products property. On a graph, we can easily see where the function is equal to zero because that's where it crosses the x-axis. So if this were a function f of x, its zeros would be negative 3, 0, and 2. Note 0 is a zero means that when the x value is 0, the y value is also 0. Zeros are a rich topic we can't fully explore here, but I wanted to leave you with a few synonyms which mean basically the same thing as a 0. Uh, they're sometimes referred to as the roots of a function, are also called the zeros are also called the roots of a function. The x-intercepts, as we saw, of a graph are zeros of a function. And we think of them as solutions to when the function is equal to zero. Hopefully that helps. Keep exploring. Bye.